Hi all, this is your talented host AJ with a fantastic recipe today for broiled lamb with mint lime sauce. Now the mint lime sauce is really a marinade, but the lamb soaks up all of these wonderful flavors of the marinade and really makes the dish pop. In this video, you're going to see how I use roasted coriander and cumin as well. These are traditional Middle Eastern uh, spices that add such a wonderful flavor to the dish. I, I choose to uh, use a, the lamb, um, add it back to the lamb as a marinade afterwards to soak up some more of the flavor. And that allows me to not use a separate sauce, which sometimes I don't like to do. It can make it uh, a little bit hard and a little bit too much. I hope you all get an inspiration to experiment with this wonderful, flavorful meal that tends only to be used for Easter. Enjoy. Cheers. So the first thing we do is start off with the marinade for the lamb. And what I have here, I have all the ingredients assembled. So we're going to use uh, fresh rosemary, fresh mint leaves, some garlic cloves, some uh, olive oil. I'm actually going to use uh, extra virgin olive oil. I just grabbed the wrong bottle. Some lime juice, salt and pepper. And you can see I've got the salt on top of the pepper. Some coriander. I'm going to toast this coriander, then grind it. And finally, some, uh, 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 some cumin seed. And I'm also going to toast these and grind these together. Um, and then I'm going to add those all to the spice mixture and mix it up. So you see, um, after I chop and put everything together, how I put it together and uh, make the marinade for uh, the lamb chops. Prepared and all chopped up. Okay, you can see I've got the mint chopped up, the garlic, the rosemary, and I mixed the roasted cumin and uh, coriander. Um, I've done that because the same consistency. Now, I like to roast my, uh, my spices um, when possible. Um, and, and then grind them myself. Uh, one of the reasons is because by roasting, I put them on a, uh, a pan and just kind of put it over high heat for a minute or two until I start to see it turn brown or it start to smoke a little bit. Uh, one of the reasons is because the spices, even if it's in your cabinet, it has oils in it. And those oils, uh, you bring them out to the surface, you start cooking them. Now, they have a, a, a different smell and flavor once you, uh, once you toast them a little bit. I wish you could smell this. It smells wonderful. I love coriander. It was probably my favorite spice. So what I did, and I've got a grinder. A lot of people use the electric grinders, the, uh, what you can use for coffee. Uh, what I prefer to use is something like this. It's, it's a hand grinder. Um, I got this in Turkey uh, years ago. It's a, coffee, a Turkish coffee grinder. It gives an even consistent, uh, kind of a rough defined, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's not real fine, but it's not real rough either. Kind of a medium grind. I just like that, but that's just me. Um, then obviously the salt and pepper, and then the oil and the, uh, uh, the lime. Now, what I'm going to do is combine them all. And what we're going to do now is uh, we're, we're going to make the marinade and then put the, uh, the chops in. And I'm going to let them sit for about an hour to an hour and a half. You don't need more than that for chops. It's not a roast that's heavy and it needs to penetrate. I just want to get an essence of the flavor. I'm also going to save the marinade for when I'm done because once I'm done roasting the uh, broiling the lamb chops, I put them back in the marinade for about two to three minutes. Um, and I'll explain the reason why later, but it's important. Okay, get all the ingredients together. Start off with the olive oil. When I come around, I use the same container because uh, it's, it's after this, I'm going to wash it. So, and get any olive oil that's, uh, that's on there. Okay, one cup. I know I use a lot of, I, I say to use a lot of fresh herbs um, when you can and uh, uh, fresh ingredients, but I found that this bottle of lime juice, um, it's easier to use. It keeps really well for a long time and uh, it's just more convenient. And the, the, the difference in taste is not significant enough for me to, um, to worry about. It. Okay, um, so I added the uh, olive oil and the lime juice. Add the rest of the ingredients. Garlic, add the mint, mm. add the rosemary, add the cumin and coriander, and add the salt and pepper. All right, I'm just gonna mix this up. So these are nice shoulder cup, uh, shoulder cut lamb chops. Um, uh, lamb tends to be expensive. You know, what, a lot of times what I do around Easter time, where a lot of people tend to eat more lamb, I'll, I'll buy some and, and I'll freeze it and uh, defrost it when I use it. Um, I think it's, 
it, it's eaten more overseas than it is in the U.S., but it's a red meat. This, you can see, is kind of marbled with a lot of fat. I know that's not the best for you, um, but I broil it. A lot of the fat roasts off, um, and it gives it a lot of flavor. Uh, meat that is too lean, you kind of have to add fat to it. Um, that's just my personal preference. Again, you know, and you'll see with the rest of the, the foods I cook that I try to balance it out. So I'll, I'll use this for flavor, and then uh, the other things I'll, I'll have more of a, a healthy mix. So anyway, so I've got this. Now, what I did is I mixed it up in the container, but I use, see what I do here? I use a square pan, all right? Oh, let's see if it's gonna fit there. I'll make it fit, there we go. Um, a square pan, um, one, because that way there's more surface area exposed and I can get it as much submerged as possible, okay? So I'm just, all I'm gonna do is pour it over there. All right, now a lot of people, the way you've been eating, you know, raised to eat, eat lamb, myself included, over Easter time, you know, sometimes Christmas or big holidays like that, um, is that mint jelly. Now, growing up, my mom loved mint jelly. I hate it. That's the nastiest stuff ever. Um, just like I hate canned cranberry sauce for, for turkey. I think it's nasty. That's just my opinion. You know, I know it's a, a, a tradition in a lot of households, but it's just eef, something I could never do. Um, I'll make a mint sauce, and I like the flavor of mint with lamb. I think it goes, but I, I like it more as a savory as opposed to a sweet. And mint jelly is really sweet, and I just don't. That's me. I don't like that. If you like your mint jelly, by all means, please use it. But I'm just showing you something else. And also, the coriander and cumin, they had a, a unique spice because they're Middle Eastern spices, and traditionally have been used with lamb, which is a, 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 has been a traditional Middle Eastern food for years. So I find this a good complement to the uh, mint and the, uh, um, and the garlic, and the lime as a nice tanginess to it. So uh, this bowl I use, it's a uh, stainless steel bowl. Uh, never mix citric acid with an aluminum, like uh, uh, some people have aluminum bowls, or I wouldn't even put aluminum foil on it because what happens is citric acid eats away through the aluminum foil and a lot of it ends up in the food. So just a note for you, um, not to use aluminum unless it's anodized or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for about an uh, hour to an hour and a half, okay? And uh, 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 I'm gonna cover it, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit, and uh, then we'll be back to cook it and uh, to plate it. So we'll see you soon. Okay, now it's time to put the uh, lamb chops in the oven. So it's been marinating for about an hour, hour and a half, something of that nature. And you can see what it looks like where it's uh, just kind of been immersed in the marinade. So what I'm going to do is scrape some of this off. And it's nice and flavorful. Uh, you too bad you can't smell this. It uh, smells fantastic. So I put it on. This is already a pre-greased broiling pan. See, through the magic of video, all this stuff happens when you're not here. So, okay. The next one. Okay. And as I said before, I'm going to put it back in the marinade after it's done. Um, so I don't want a whole lot of the material on top of uh, the lamb chops. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, so you can see this, I'm gonna broil this on high. Um, for the first side, it's gonna be about, uh, depending on your uh, stove uh, with, or your oven, whether it's electric or gas, it's gonna take anywhere between seven and 10 minutes. Watch it, as it starts to uh, um, caramelize on the top, you don't want it to burn. So about that time, that's when you flip it over. Um, and inside will be nice and medium rare by that, uh, uh, if, if you do it. Now, it's going to take longer for the first side to cook than the second side to cook. So about half the time that uh, uh, you cook the first side for the second side. So in other words, if I cook the top side, the first side on 10 minutes, the, uh, the, the other side would be 5 minutes. Uh, so a total of 15 minutes uh, time. Now I know my oven, so it's gonna take seven minutes on the first side, and so it's gonna take about three and a half minutes on the second side, so about 10 minutes, 11 minutes or so. So, Okay, I'm about to flip the, uh, the lamb chops over, but I just wanted to show you, this is what they're gonna look like on, uh, on one side when it's done. Um, one thing else I uh, didn't mention is you wanna put the uh, broiler rack 
as close as to the broiler element as you can, about six inches. You can see where I have mine. And I also put probably about a cup of water on the bottom of the pan because as uh, the fat starts to drip, uh, it can catch fire. So I do that too. And here is the completed product. I've got my lamb chop with uh, sweet potato and uh, sugar snap peas. So thanks for watching.